Whoa. Welcome back, guys. This is M19. I'm your host, the Bog Stomper, and I'm here to commit some murders. All right, well, we're going to take this murder. Infinitely better than this fract flact flactory lich. And uh, we haven't seen murder, because murder is actually a mythic rare in this set, so... Um, I'm going to take it. Yes, a lot of people were before the Quackman, but not in the actual on the actual stream itself. So, so, so no, no, in that in that sense, you were not. I'm gonna take this murder because I don't care about this. Oh, I like a brawl. I like a murder into a brawl bash ogre, but I also like this plague mare. Plague mare is pretty good in certain matchups. Specifically the matchups that have either white cards or 1-1 one, one creatures, X-1 creatures. I still think this card is just better. It's just a cooler build around. What up, Rhystic Mage? I'm gonna take the Brawl Bash Ogre. I think it's I think it's strong and more stronger. Stronger enough that I'm okay with it. That's my that's my feeling on it. I don't like taking a Child of Night third pick, but I also, uh, eh, it could just be Gargoyle. Gargoyle's a reasonable flyer in a deck that might not have many otherwise. Yeah, we'll just take the, the Gargs. Child of Night was the other, con the other, uh, consideration there. It goes Quackman, Water, Oxygen, Weird, Sea Bacteria, like frogs and stuff, dinosaurs, birds, apes, mammoths, humans, etc. Wow, that's a... That's a that's a hell of an order. <laughs> so the way you wrote that, it says weird sea bacteria like frogs and stuff. And for a second, I thought like, I thought that you thought that weird sea ba like frogs were weird sea bacteria. And I was like, oh, he doesn't know how he doesn't know how nature works, does he? It could have been awkward for everybody. Uh, do I like Virus Shino Pyromancer at all? Not as not nearly as much as like Child of Night. I think the consistent life gain is significantly better than a one time two damage. I mean, I would play it if I had it in my deck, but uh, I'm much more inclined to play something like Child of Night because it's just a consistent life gain effect that can often swing limited matches. I'm gonna actually take this Motivator over this Child of Night because I'm pretty impressed with Motivator, and also it was actually just broken in. Uh, Hour of Devastation draft. Like, I think Vyashino Pyromancer is perfectly playable. I'm just not super excited about a random shock on it. But I mean, like, you're gonna you're gonna play it. It's it's a core set. You're gonna you're gonna play it anyway if it's in your if it's in your pool. It's a two one for two with a with an effect, so. Actually I found a pretty sweet legacy deck that I was tempted to play. Let me show you guys. I was really... I don't even like... I think Legacy is my least favorite format. I like Vintage a lot more than Legacy, actually. But I saw this Eureka deck. And it has Eurekas. And it has Arena Rectors. And then we have, like, Karn, Nicobolus God Pharaoh, Nicobolus Planeswalker, two Ugins, an Omniscience, a Sandworm Convergence, an Overwhelming Splendor, and a Cruel Reality and a Dovescape. And I was just like, oh, I need, I need this in my life. But first, I need to make a pick here. Because... That's how magic works. Uh, it could just be Doom Descender. It could be Ravenous Harpy. We, we, if we want the sack deck, I think Ravenous Harpy is probably better. And we can get more Doom Descenders. I haven't really gone all in on a, on, a, on a Ravenous Harpy Sacrifice deck. So maybe this can be a new thing for us. Maybe we're Trumpet Blasting. I don't know. This pack is not great for us. Hired Blade's kind of meh. Two-Headed Zombie yeah, could actually be reasonable. I don't think it's a great card. It dies to a lot of things. I'm going to take the Trumpet Blast because it could be a blowout.
Although we do need some two drops. Notably cards like, uh, you know, Doomed Dissenter. Oh, another Ravenous Harpy? Yeah, we'll probably be taking that. We're going to be doubling up on Harpies. I really want all the Doomed Dissenters. I'll play four Doomed Dissenter in the double Ravenous Harpy deck. Just putting that out there. In case the Magic Gods are listening. Couldn't buy back those back. Wow, you spelled my... I like how you, you called me Frank LePoe, and then you said Frank Doom to center LePoe. I don't understand what's what's going on here. I don't know what's happening. This pack is bad. Stop giving me three drops, man. Uh, no, no haircut. I got a haircut like three weeks ago. Does that count? If there was a fraying omnipotence deck, this might be it. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna take it because I think it's better than any three, any of these three. And maybe, maybe we just use it to fifty them. <laughs> See here, I might take Pyromancer just because it's a it's a guy I don't mind sacrificing. It's a two drop. We're not gonna take Lich because the artifact requirements for having a Lich in our deck are just way too high. How many Sovereign's Bites can we reasonably put in our deck and uh, and actually win? Probably none, right? Does Lepo sound funny? That doesn't sound that doesn't sound that funny to me. I think the person whose name it is your your bastardizing probably think it's probably always going to think it's less funny though. So that's I, I assume I'm just biased. Well, no more Invisible Mountain Dew today. I don't think I'm never going to drink it again. I just have a different drink today. Chicken Mike. <laughs> oh, dear God. Why is that a thing? Jesus, that's amazing. Just incredible. That's incredible. What are your favorite color shifted cards? The exception of Damnation, Mana Tithe, and Harmony. Why did you? Why are those the exclusions? These are everyone's favorite mana shifted cards. Let me look up. I think you mean mana. Sh okay. Oh, Valiant Knight's pretty good. Oh God, can we discard any of these colors to take this this Valiant Knight? Probably not. Probably not worth it. Actually, we don't have knights. I like Exclusion Mage. It's either Electrify Dragon or Spores. I think Electrify is better than Spores. Wow, Chicken Mike is actually your real like that's your real thing and that's not a that's not a stream meme. That's hilarious. I'm going to look up the color shifted cards just so I know exactly what I'm what my options are. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's Electrolyze. So I took it. Oh, I like a shock here. Yeah, nothing else very exciting. Oh, we got the Plague Mare anyway. I like that. I do like an Abnormal Endurance. I think it's fine, if, if especially with the Sacrifice guys. I'll take another Shock. All right, this pack has been going well. We got Plague Mare, Shock, Shock, Electrolyze. Yeah, Electrify, that's pretty good. This pack has been A-OK. -okay. I think it's just Nightmare's Thirst. I don't think this card's great, but even if it's negative one, negative one for one mana, 
it's basically just like fungal spores. Babarbly boo. That's this is this. It's not. It's not the correct spelling, but I'll I'll let it slide. Thank you so much for the for the the support. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the bits. I want to take the thirst. If we get a, uh, blood divination's pretty. Oh god, another electrify. <laughs> Barbobbly Boo, the the uh, the given nickname of Mike, is actually pretty easy to spell. It's just literally the four words that 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 make it up. It's Bar, Bob, Lee, and Boo. It's super easy. Everyone gets it wrong though. It's very funny. It's just four four individual three letter words put together. One of the ways I remembered how to spaghetti spell spaghetti uh, spells together when I was a kid was to get her. Like you can break it up into three separate words. And uh, that was always a. I don't know what the pick is here. These are both very, very good. I'm going to take this. Oh, I don't hate Diagraph Ghoul. It's a, uh, it's probably the Brute, though. Yeah, I don't care about the, the one drop or the two drop. I'm trying to find these color shifted cards. <laughs> Cringe is right. All right. Uh, probably going to take the second motivator. I think it's better than Diagraph Ghoul. I like our deck so far. We do need a lot of... Well, I, I like some two drops here. That would be nice. Oh, I don't know if anyone else is disappointed as you are in Core 19. Well, we don't know how disappointed you are in Core 19. Um, but the other thing is that, like, as far as core sets go, this is not... It's definitely not terrible. I have, I definitely think it's fine. I, I actually... I'm not at a point where I'm like, this is a miserable format to draft. I'm not having a good time. Um, I don't I don't think we're there yet. Apparently, chat agrees, interestingly enough. Oh, uh, God. Is it just Thud? I wasn't I wasn't impressed with Thud. But actually, if we can get some act acts of treason. Blue Llama, thanks so much for uh the support. Really appreciate it. This is a lot of one drops. Shock, shock, motivator, motivator, thud, nightmares, thirst. Nightmares, thud, thirst, obviously one of the weakest of the bunch. The core sets are my friends and I care about them. That's fair. That's fair. No, apparently next year we'll get Core Set 2020 if they're still doing it. And then you can talk about how hindsight is Core Set 2020. Nightmares Thirst number two. Okay, I'll take it. I think two Nightmares Thirsts are better than one, especially if we can get like three... What we really want is uh, three Child of Night and four Doom to center. So I think I think it's fair if we can get those. I think our deck is good. <laughs> Nightmares Thud, aka my wow, this is getting this is something, man. Oh, I have normal endurance came back. That's pretty nice. I'll put that right in the deck. Uh, I'll take a tormenting voice. Yeah, that's when they print all the the, the answers to the cards to the the problem cards rotating of standard because they're like, oh, in hindsight, all the money in the world couldn't. I can't find this stupid. Are they called plane shifted? What are they actually? What's their official name? Yeah, that's not what they're called. Okay. I guess I could technically just go to the stupid, uh, I could just go to search for all the cards in Planar Chaos, but 
Boy, that sounds like a, a lot more... Like, sometimes I just don't want to do it based on principle. Like, I shouldn't have to do this to find this thing that I'm looking for, so... Wow, I know it sucks. Frank Pig to go take it up with him. That's a good idea. You should do that. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm looking up these planar chaos cards. I'm going to take this guy because it's the last card in the pack. Someone was like, no, thank you. I will take the land over this, this two mana enchantment. All right, Planar Chaos. Let's let's do it. All right, nothing good here. So that's that's something. In fact, arguably an actual terrible pack. I'll probably just take this Diagraph Ghoul because it's something early that I can sacrifice, I guess. Gross. I don't want another 3-drop, especially if we're planning on getting Active Treasons. Yep, not ideal. Oh, I found an act of treason. And a child of night, which is makes our nightmares thirst better, but we do have shock shock electrify murder, so I think our removal is probably pretty good. I'd rather just have act because it goes well with our other cards. And it's basically removal. I'm just gonna take the act of treason here. Plague Mare number two? Oh, Lich's caress is nice. And if either of these come back, I'll be very happy. But I don't see that happening, so I'm just going to take the Lich's Caress. Oh, I like this guy as a big, a big fat late game idiot. I also like these guys. I think this late game idiot's probably better, though. Oh, uh, Child of Night is nice. That is a nice little pickup there. All right, so our deck's looking good now. That the, these, uh, these, these preceding packs were very nice. Okay. I am looking for color shifted cards. Boy, this is a lot of work. I'm just going to keep scrolling through until one of them pops out at me and I'm thinking like, yes, that is the one I like the best. I'm a late game idiot. <laughs> Can you play me? Uh, yeah, it's possible. I, I, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. I'll just take this card because it's the only one we can play. Hey, you big fat late game idiot. That's that's actually how I do that. And then they listen. You know, I mean, it's it doesn't seem like it would work. It seems counterintuitive. Oh, I think damnation is probably my favorite. No, just kidding. That'd be funny if I did that though, right? It wouldn't be. That's pretty trite, I think. Um. Keep keep on scrolling. If only enslave was color shifted. That's a good card. But really, it's just a card in the set. Can I just pick a Can I just pick a bad one and be like, uh, "This is my favorite color shifted card," just to force you guys to put it in the cube? That'd be funny. I'd laugh at that. Um, uh, none of these cards are exciting. We could have had double psychic corrosion and not have known about it until the last pack. That's that makes me sad. I think it's actually macabre. I don't care about Diamond Mare. Oh, that's a late that's a late skeletal archer. That's nice. I'm a fan of that. Wow, Quacker. Unbelievable, man. Would that be funny? No, probably not. But maybe. But probably not. Oh, the guy didn't come back. Frank's beard. Hey, Frank's beard here. I feel like Frank should be donating to me. Ha ha, just kidding. Big <laughs> Just kidding. Big fan. Well, that's amazing. I'd like to thank my beard for supporting the stream. That's a real... That's a real beard moment. Boy, how the beards have turned here. Uh, Alright, I think our deck's pretty much done. I'm not thrilled about it. But I don't hate it. I don't think another abnormal endurance. We gotta make one cut here. Oh, it could be Manatide. I could see Manatide doing a thing. Uh, 
I will take a revitalize. All right, one cut here. It might just be one ravenous harpy. I don't know if we need two. I could also see cutting this diagraphical or one motivator. Hmm. I'm still looking for this color shifted card that I like. You guys got me uh, doing some work here. Oh, I do like Manatize. Was Manatize one of the aforementioned? It was Harmonized, Damnation, and what else? It probably was Manatize because that would be too easy. It was. Dang it, it was one of them. Dang it. All right, hold on. I'm looking through these. You guys can you guys can give me a second while we do this. All right. Um I think it's one of these. It's either this guy or this guy. I'm not a big fan of walking corpse, but I think it's it's obviously just better than Diagraph Ghoul, especially with motivator because you can play motivator on one and then attack with a walking corpse on two at least. I'm reluctant to cut creatures, but we actually, I don't want, there's no spells in here that I want to cut. I like Thud just because we have Active Treason. So we have three, four ways to sacrifice things if we steal them. Ogre, Thud, and Double Harpy, which is nice. What up, Kerwit? Um, or we can just play 41, which I'm a big fan of, as you guys may or may not know. You probably know that. I'm just going to play 41, because YOLO. Oh, I don't think that's color shifted, actually. I don't think it is. Hmm. I guess I can't. I was going to pick Pongify, but I don't think Pongify is color shifted. So. I will keep this hand. I think you keep any hand with motivator in it, right? It doesn't need officially color shift, it's just a card that sort of steps out of the bat. Oh, this changes everything. God, why are you like this? That's much more that's much more difficult. What's up, Matthew Ori? I don't care. I'm going with a I'm going with the strictly color shifted from planar chaos. Because I think the uh the alternative with going with any card is it's too much. It's too broad. I'm looking. Keep on rocking. Ooh. Ooh, I think I, I found a good one. All right. Well, this guy. Do I just give this guy haste? <laughs> no. Surge Mare doing work. Doing work. I was going to say work. I don't know what I was going to say there. I don't know what I was going to say there. So, all right, if we lose, it's because I'm looking for these color shifted cards. All right, I think I know what I'm going with. I'm on the last page. I got seven more cards to go through, and then we'll then we'll, we'll reveal. There's going to be a big reveal, guys. You ready? Uh, I'm going to go with Simeon Spirit Guide. Ooh, that was what we wanted. That is a nice. Get in there. Oh, that was a good draw, because now we can get to keep up the uh, the Ravenous Harpy sack mana, which is nice, but they're probably going to kill something in response. And they're just going to cancel it, sure. So they can still pump, right? Yeah, so that's bad news bears for anybody that isn't the Bogger Brute. Hey, don't knock Surge Mare. Surge Mare is OP. He just kept back both of these guys, so. 
I mean, Surge Mirror is regular P, but it's pretty high on the regular P scale. So I, I don't like... I don't think Surge Mirror Mockery is where you want to be. That card's great. Hmm. It's murder. I could just... Three, four, five... I could murder this guy. I think we are going to murder it, he says, after already having cast the murder. Because I don't think murder is going to resolve to be... Oh, murder resolved. Plus, we have endurance in hand that we can... If there's some trickeration going on. Oh, this is nice. We get to kill this guy. That's pretty good. So, we can't make it through the horsefish wall. Alright, we won this game. Pretty, pretty handily, I would say. I support everything that happened in that game. Lightning Mare is regular P with specks of red. What does this mean? Should I see? Yeah, you should probably see a doctor. Uh, the red in the in the Lightning Mare is... You, you think it was red mana, but it also could be blood. So you want to be careful. Raising me... All right. Well, that's a thing. Boom, 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 boom. I think we actually just play this. I don't know if the ability is going to be super relevant, but... Maybe it is. Like, it's just a 2-2, two -two, right? It's one extra damage here. One Dr. Frank Medicine Woman. But wow. That's a... Get that old school Dr. Quinn reference. That's crazy. Also, if you guys have not noticed, we went down from, like, 300 and something subs to 302. Man, this is a real roller coaster. The sub, the sub goal is such a, an emotional roller coaster, guys. I like the turn four rupture spire. That's a good one. Oh, well, that guy resolved. Attack with the one two. And by that I mean one one. Oh man, that's a late that's a late surge mare. Huh. Fascinating. Can I steal that? Oh my god, can you imagine if I active treason that? Oh, I thought that was going to be an active treason. I got real excited. I say it's so pretty good. So you don't have... Okay, we got flying and we got menace. Manasio. All right, we got this. No, I will not use the ability. Yeah, it was a two ninety nine when we started today, and it's just like God. It's such a bad feeling when you're like Thursday. I'm sitting high on like three hundred and sixteen, and then on Monday you're like, oh, two ninety nine. Cool. Losing like twenty subs, which is like one fifteenth of your of your total subs, is is pretty rough. I guess one sixteenth. Yeah, we're not gonna block here because why's my eye itching? What's going on? Why is there so many things happening? I'm not comfortable with anything that's going on right now. Making my way down there, walking fast, step by step. Miss Vixen, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I, uh. Oh. I see. One Frank Texas Ranger, but. Oh, this is good. We could do, uh. 
We could do all the TV memes. Oh, we can actually abnormal endurance this guy? Yeah, this is going to be good. I want to be a fan of what's happening here. It does enter tapped, unfortunately. Oh, pernicious dude with the gifted sub. What a gentleman and a scholar. We also just blood divination. Oh, let's play a land and let's blood divination. That's probably the best, right? Boom, 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 boom. I will attack you for Oon. That was pretty good. <sighs> My friend Jim lost one fifteenth of his subs one day. Now no subway or quiz. Let's even look at his resume. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Alright, Bone Dragon's problematic. I don't know why he didn't attack there. What to do, what to do. We can deal seven damage here. With Thud. No, we can't, because to make this guy a 5-5, five, five, we'd probably have to uh, make some pretty sizable sacrifices, I imagine. I kind of just want to Plague Mare here. Hmm... I mean, it doesn't do much, but it does get rid of the Doom Dissenter. And if we sack something to this guy, it also lets us attack profitably. No, because then they got this guy, so they can just go block with 1, 4, and 2, 2. I guess then we can block the... We can kill the zombie. How much do we really want to do that, though? I think a lot. Jason, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, we're going to give this dude haste. Avid Fiction on one Lapore Country Junior. Wow, that's a Briscoe County Junior reference? Woo! That's going deep. Yeah, we'll do this. Claire Nessa, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. All right, you guys are, you guys are great. All right, well, this is gonna be a two for one, so I'm not thrilled about it, but we do get to kill your guy, so. And you don't have anywhere near close to enough to bring him back. So you're at seven. Next turn we can thud you. Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah, we could have just actually thudded them for five and then killed them. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even see that line. We were we were in tunnel vision. We were also trying to focus on the chat, so. You're right. I think we're still fine, though. For obvious reasons. All right. Well, this is where we draw all lands. So they just block the ogre, right? Yeah, that would have been so good. Alright, I don't 
don't care about that. Yeah, Enslave, yeah, I like Enslave a lot. I think it's such a good control magic. One sliders buck for you. Always double check the front gate for them. What in the earth? <laughs> what are you even saying, man? I have no idea what any of that means. And it's probably for the best. Are we in a point, like, can we go one, two, three? Yeah, we can just win here if they don't have any removal. I mean, there's no negate in the format, so. Got him! Alright, we feel okay about our punt. Our preceding punt. Oh, this hand is so good if we had one black mana. Can you imagine if we had a swamp? We could just go, dude, 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 dude. Eventually this guy. I gotta ship this. Alright, this is worse. This doesn't have all the early staying game power of the previous hand. Watsy Bill? I wonder if it's Will Star Bill Stark. Uh, I am gonna mulligan this hand as well. Because it's just worse than the other one. And we're gonna have to keep this one and hope there's a mountain on top. There was no mountain to be seen. That is not going to do it. We're going to have a good game of magic here. So that's nice. Yep. Having, having a good time. Having a good time. Oh, yeah, we're having fun. Oh. Oh, I hit the I hit the the red mana. When he started singing having a good time, so did I. Does that come down to watching my stream too much or simply uh, being in the cult of Frank? Because I feel like just because you watch the stream doesn't mean you'd automatically sing the song. Oh, you put the guy on top. All right, well, I can see you don't like having fun, so I'm going to go to the next game. That's nice. Uh okay. Look at me, I just played right into Force Spike. If they had a Force Spike, what a dummy. Oh, I click that. I, I click that automatically assuming I'm like, this has got to be a land. So I'm just going to click it immediately and put it into play. And uh, it, it wasn't a land. Spoiler alert. Good times. I'm having a fun. I'm having a fun time here at the uh, Magic the Gathering land yep good times huh 
Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, I'm Franklin Farm. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. Every time. Sometimes I don't even know if I say it on my own or if I say it because I saw that you wrote it. It's very strange. You got it. You're not blocking this. Come on. Be real. Oh, uh, M19 is just fine. I mean, it's better when you can actually draw your lands and play Magic the Gathering with your opponent, but sometimes you don't get to do that, so that's fine. Yep. All right, cool. Sometimes you just miss five land drops and uh, lose to a Wizards employee. That's a good times. Always a pleasure. Thanks for the money. I, it's just a weird feeling when, Wizards, when you lose to Wizards employees. I, I almost feel like if you play against a Wizards employee in a queue, they should almost concede. Because it's not not because I I'm not like upset about it. It's not, I'm not angry. It's a weird feeling though when you're paying a company for their product and the employees beat you at the. It's almost like a casino, right? Like the house won. Oh, I just I just lost to the house. Which isn't isn't what you're really going for in Magic. You know what I mean? It's it's just a weird feeling. That's all. I mean, I don't feel great about be beating Wizards employees because 99% of Wizards employees have no connection to Wizards R&D. So it's not like they're magic professionals. They're, they're just, like, I, I don't feel great about beating J Watsy James from accounting. You know what I mean? Like, there's a very there's a very small percentage of Wizards employees who are actually making Magic the Gathering cards and who are professional players. So, oh, look. Fashionable late to the party, this guy. They should be able to play, yeah. I just don't think it should take a win away from your from your record. You know what I mean? Because then it's almost like it's almost like the it's there's a weird like it's psychological. It's not. I don't think it's actually justifiable. Um, but like in your head, it's almost like the company is taking away your chance at winning. You know what I mean? Like it's a weird. And like I said, I I don't think it's I don't think it's accurate. I don't think it's it's justifiable. Um. But. Like, in my head, it almost feels like, well, if you want to win this tournament, yeah. <laughs> um, if you want to win this tournament, you have to beat Wizards of the Coast. You know what I mean? Yeah, they get free drafts. They have Wizards. They have Wizards accounts. All the, all the product on Wizards accounts is free. Uh, their name is literally Watsy underscore and whatever their name is. That was Watsy Bill. So you can see you can see very clearly when they're Wizards employees or not. I think we just play Plague Mare. I'm just going to keep that pressure on. Who plays Rexage main and modern? I mean, I would imagine the Elves deck and the Collected Companies deck both do that because those are Oh, this this is this is brutal. A grand student, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Watsy may have won your money, but you can have some of mine. <laughs> and like, don't get me wrong, because like, I mean, I, I know firsthand that Wizards employees should be able to play Magic Online, 100 percent Um Zedre, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Um, I don't think the one Urza's Academy Tome is good enough. I'll never get that name right for the for a smelt. Uh, I have been putting M19 drafts up pretty regularly. Yeah, I've put like 12 up so far. 
You can just go to my YouTube channel and check, man. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Come on, Dan. Come on, buddy. They could just not require the raw CPU. Sure. But it's it's more of um what's it well what's a perk to being an employee? Defeating people? Hey man, I'm here, you're here. <laughs> oh I don't know. I, I guess I guess my feeling is that like if you lose to a wizard's employee, you, it shouldn't take away from your from your record. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Because like they're playing, they're also playing on the account. Is that yeah, they're playing on accounts that like they don't have to spend any money on. Like just free, they're just god, they're just wizards god accounts. So like I'm I'm paying, I'm using my actual money to play against someone who just plays for free, and uh, oh god, I'll keep it. Lands are good. I don't want to go to five again. Okay, well, we're having a good time. I probably should have just kept the first hand, I guess. <sighs> I would have taken five lands, two four drops over this any day of the week. Cool. I actually would have, I would have just went to game three if that wasn't a playable card. or a, if it, Since it wasn't a land, I would have just been like, fine, let's go to the next game. Um, but they gave me this, so now I just have to keep playing. Yep, all right. Now we're going to the next game because I could care less about this one diagraph ghoul. And, like, we weren't behind. Like, they didn't actually do anything. But we're, like, three lands behind. So the point is they're, they can start playing five and six drops when we're playing two drops and we might never hit our land drops. And you guys are going to be like, you conceded too early. And that's fine, but my time is worth more. I would rather just finish this draft and go to the next one. So I will play first. This hand is great. I will keep it. Oh, I like Thud and Active Trees, and that's pretty solid. Snoozlemoo, thank you so much. Really appreciate the bits. And, like, again, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not upset about that wizard's loss at all. Um, I just think it's a, it's a weird... It's like a... It's not like... I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like... Explain, explain it better. Could I hype a really close friend's new short film that's blowing up online? Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, it's like dating your aunt. I, w I don't know if I'd go that far. Did I see your previous thing? And the feels bad of them having the draft enter, et cetera, is negate. What, what, what if facing once you count, count as a win in terms of prize support, but still counted against your record? Oh, yeah, that would be fine. I mean, that would be the exact same thing. The problem is, I feel like if I go 2 1 in this draft now, I won all of my matches, but a wizard's employee prevented me from getting six packs instead of two. You know what I mean? And that's a weird feeling. It's like going to a restaurant and like at some point there's a competition between you and someone who works at the restaurant. And if you lose, you only get the appetizer. But if you win, you get a whole meal. And you're like, but I just want the, I just want the whole meal. <laughs> it's just, well, too bad. You had to, you had to battle us. So uh, now you only get the appetizer. Oh, but I still, but I, I don't understand. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but I'm not like, I think it's just a discussion worth having. That's all. 
I mean, I like having discussions in chat, so. Land. Or a gargoyle. Land would be great, especially a mountain, so that we can active trees in this guy. And then pitch it. Ah, uh, no blocks. It's like paying for Swole Mike and getting stuck with Hat Mike. Totally. It's just weird because, like, you, this is the company I pay. I already paid you the money to play in your event. Why am I playing against you? You know? But again, I want I want Wizards employees to be able to play Magic. I don't think I don't think you should be not able to play Magic. And uh, that was a huge deal when it was when it was changed. So. Well, Josh VS and Unseen Spectre, thank you guys so much for the resubs. Really appreciate it. I don't know what to do here because we missed two land drops. I guess we're just going to hold back here. God, this one Doom Dissenter is really ruining our day. <laughs> You're acting hysterical over the... I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going absolutely crazy. He's an utter madman. Land. Mountain. Oh, a swamp. Well, let's just play this at least. And actually, I have no desire to steal this guy, or uh, to uh, play the Skeletal Archer and kill this guy, because that just seems worse. I'd rather just take the zombie for myself. I see. I'm going to give him haste in response, because we're having a good time here. Yeah, we're not blocking this guy. Mountain one time. It's not a mountain. It never is. All right. Well, we're just going to play this guy. Shoot this guy and then attack with these guys. Because we're in a position where, like, this is a cute play. And I, they, they get the most value to steal this guy. And then they're going to shock this guy, which is sad. And if we want to trade a whole Doom Descender for a Vaishino Pyromancer, then we have come out ahead in this deal. I think the fact that some amount of the prize support for the league is being taken away from people who paid to enter and being funneled back in. That's right. That's literally. And like. I don't think it's deliberate, right? Like, the, the employees, like, who are playing in the events aren't trying to do that. That's not the goal of the company. But that is kind of a, a tangential thing that happens from this, you know? Like, that loss, if I don't go 3-0 and I go 2, and like that, that loss just prevented me from getting four packs, four extra packs. So, you know. I might have to sneeze. We're just going to keep up abnormal endurance here. A fifth land would be so good for us. Let's us play two things a turn. No blocks. I like it. They're drawing a lot of extra cards, but at the cost of a good amount of mana. This is no Library of Alexandria. This is three mana a turn. Think Watsy wins are where the big treasure chest awards come from? Yeah, probably. Oh god, what are they going to do? They're going to wipe the whole board? 
Oh god, what's happening here? Oh god, what's going on? What about an opera step where you have to sing everything you're saying? Everything? My problem with this kind of step in the past has been that's a lot of singing over the course of an entire draft. I'm literally singing for like an hour and a half straight. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I want to active treason that real bad, and I want to thud it. Throw it at your face. Can I get one red mana, please? No? Okay. Well, there's a lot to ask for. I want to, I want to be presumptuous there. This guy's doing a lot of work here. Today I'm processing documents with titles like Archaeological Site Location Methodology and Recent Trends in Namibian Urbanization. Namibian Urbanization. So I'm glad you're streaming. It's helping get through this. That sounds fascinating, though. I assume the documents are written in such a way that it's not very fascinating, but it sounds fascinating. Yeah, we're just going to attack here. So the funny thing is, we could have taken them to 7 with the Endurance. Thudded for 5, taken them to, to 2... And then the extra point would have would have been nice. And then we could have actually sacked. Like, there's a lot of potential wins we could have on board. Um, the problem is that they have four mana and they're a red-black deck. So it's a little scary. Rare books and special collections archive? That sounds gas. Oh, that sounds super sweet. I'm a fan. I think I'm just going to keep drawing cards, though. I feel like this stud is really putting us in the in the reach here, but they have six cards in hand. How do we have more cards on board and almost the same amount of almost the same amount of cards in hand, uh, which I guess is due to them having eight lands and us having four on turn nine. So going into turn ten. <laughs> How many books written by the devil and bound in human skin do you curate? Oh, that's a good question. I would also be curious. Equals the number of goblins. All right, you get to deal one here. Oh, that's sad. It's a good one. It is a good one. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep sacking here. See how many shocks you got, I guess. You just eat my entire board. Oh, we survived. All right. So we got three in the air, five in the air, and then a thud. So. I feel like if they could kill this harpy, they would have. Ooh. That is scary here, because they can sack this guy to make this 5. We can't block it. So this is actually 7. And they can sack this guy for another 5, which is 12. Puts us to 1. So if they also have Abnormal Endurance and Thud in hand, we're just dead here.
<laughs> Guess Grandma's gonna have to stay dead. Oh my god, this chat is gas. Well, sorry, Grandma, we tried. Oh god, they are sacrificing. Okay, so I guess they do seven, eight, nine. All right. Do they seriously have thud? Um, um... Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.